go for it. Previously, on the chocolate channel, we had these eggs from Easter. They weren't bought for me, they weren't from Easter. In fact, they were bought with juice. <laughs> Alright, they're Easter eggs, though, aren't they? That's the point. <laughs> we thought we would come up with a thing we can do with the chocolate from the eggs so we're not just eating chocolate eggs all locked down. Although that's perfectly acceptable, if you ask me. You're taking your pan there, Jazz. I'm just heating through the water. Getting the water up to temperature uh, for what we're about to make. So we are going to make truffles, chocolate truffles. We saw a um, on a program that is put on during lockdown. Kitchen Daily. Is it the no, no. Daily, Daily Kitchen Daily Live? Boxes, yeah. Daily Kitchen Live. And he was making truffles, um, which were quite on. easy to make. No, no, no. This is our own idea. You can't say stuff like that. Yes, you can. This is our own recipe, no, it's not. We it's nicked not. it off the TV. But it seemed a good idea. It's so we're going, we're going to give it a go. Well, yeah, we're going to We're not going to stand here preaching how to do it. We're just going to do it, and I'm going to film us doing it. And then we'll come back at the end and see what we've got, okay? Right, so we've started by starting to weigh out our ingredients. How much is in there, Jazz? 30 grams of unsalted butter. Oh, it's off. 30 grams of unsalted butter. So you take your chocolate egg, or normal chocolate, you put it in the bowl, and you weigh. And we are looking for... Wow, it's way too much. Is it? How much did we want? We want 300 grams. Oh, no, so just, that's half, did... about just over half, isn't it? Well, that's just more than over half. Just a bit more. We need a slightly smaller egg. Yeah, that's... Yeah. Hey, perfect. 300 grams of chocolate Easter egg. Right, we're now going to start melting that chocolate on a bain-marie. And a bain-marie is, as you know, just a bowl on top of some hot water. And you have to stir it. There's no point stirring it, it's not even melted. We've got a wooden spoon! Hello there, everybody! We should probably break that egg, actually, Jazz. So yeah, I'm thinking we should. Crack that in half. <laughs> and then add the butter. <laughs> we forgot to add the butter. Why can't we ever do anything like it's nice on TV, where it all goes really well? The reason you do it on a bain-marie is because if you're not careful, the chocolate will scorch. So we've got our cream ready measured out. How much cream was it, Jazz? 250? Uh, 250, I think. I think that's about 250. 250 yeah. of cream. I'm going to pop that in. Oh. Turn, that down, Turn it right down. It. And I'll just keep stirring that for that. So when it's all melted down, Jazz, like you just said, Looks so much less there now. <laughs> Dennis, that, it does. There's an egg and a half in there we put, pretty much. It's not really a lot when you think about it, is it? No. Okay, so now the chocolate, as you can see, is melted. We're going to pour in the cream right on top of the chocolate. I'll let Jazz do that. Let's get rid of that for you. In goes the cream. And we're going to mix it with a pinch of salt. I don't know why we had a pinch of salt, but we do, so. Oh. Well, that's two pinches. There we go then. So, as you can see, that's got a nice chocolatey colour now. It's not quite fully smooth yet, there's still a bit more stirring to do. But we're getting there, Jazz, aren't we? We certainly are. Doesn't that look amazing, everybody? So here I have a tray lined with baking paper and we're going to very carefully pour it in. Drizzly, 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 drizzly. Mm. Go on. That's supposed to go in there, Ben. Never mind. going to leave that to cool, pop it in the fridge, and when we come back later, we'll get on to the next bit. Up. It's been, what has it been, an hour and a half? I don't know. It's been chilling in the fridge, and now we're going to do the next bit, which is to make the actual truffles out of the truffle mixture. Mm. So. Right, so, it's a new day. Hello. <laughs> 
Um, we did take the truffle mix out after one hour and it didn't look very solid, did it? No. And then we sort of left it a bit longer and it still didn't look very solid. Yeah. And then we sort of ran out of time. So it's a new day. It's the next day. You put it in the freezer. I did. Just you to can, help. You can, because we Googled. You can um, freeze it. It was just to give it a bit of a helping hand. Yeah. Um, and it seems to be a lot fir firmer now. So we're going to see how they roll. But I'm going to go and get the cocoa see powder that roll. ready first. Yes. Um, do we make some with some uh, ground almonds as well? Yes. Yes, why not? So we're going to get all that ready. But you're going to see that immediately because we're going to do a jump cut. And so here it is. That's how ours came out of the freezer. I think that's just a few drops from the freezer there. It but is, it's just freezer. Ignore that. Um, and we did scoop it out when it wasn't quite smooth, so that, that's why it doesn't look quite perfect. But it that looks doesn't matter, good, it's and it's got a bit. texture, hasn't it, of a it has. sort of a very firm Nutella. On the edges, it's gooey, which is good, because we need it to be able to scoop. The middle bit is a little bit more tougher. It's quite but frozen by the sound, isn't it? it? Yes, but it's still scoopable. Okay, I reckon. That's good. Should we give it a go? Well, well done for doing your little picture there. It's all right. Oh, just to say, we have got some grounded almonds. Grounded almonds. This is all optional. You don't have to put all this you on. You might have enough to have And um, cocoa powder. Just to add the finishing touch. Because they do look it. good when they're dusted. In yeah. Cocoa powder. So let's give it a go. I don't know how it's going to turn. So Jazz is going to take a couple, what a big spoonful, teaspoon. Yeah. Teaspoon of it. You're trying to it, firm it into a ball. Gonna try. Oh, I spoon, need to have or? quite cold hands. Uh, I read a thing that I need to have cold hands, so. Cold hands, I'm warm hands. Holding my hands up. Jazz is holding in her hands. This this may or may not work. It may get messy. It may not. It, it will get messy, so I best take my ring off. Okay. I look like I've got poo on my fingers. Oh, lovely. Jazz is rolling a ball of poo. Oh, okay. Quite a big ball, yeah. So, let's go, Coco. 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 You're going to roll it around? I'd, I'd use your fingers, personally. Yeah, but it'll melt it. Oh, yeah, that's true. We're getting closer. Okay, that's good. That's lovely. Okay. I'm going to pop that. I'm just going to pop that on the edge there for now. That looks good. And that is your finished truffle, which you could eat straight away if you wanted. You can do, yeah. So they all seem to be flattening out as we go, but there you go, we don't know. It might be the consistency was slightly wrong, or the measurements were wrong, or just the chocolate we're using might have had a higher fat content. But they look all right. Right, so... Here we are. <laughs> here we are. It's not at all awkward. Oh. Oh, so Jazz is going to feed me one because of the uh, I'm holding the camera. Mm. Mm. What do you think? Mm. Nice. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Very gooey. Very rich. Mm. All over my teeth. <laughs> mm. Mm. I think they're a winner. Mm. The only thing is they're a bit too gooey. I think they're a bit too gooey. I think possibly we've put too much cream in mm -hmm. or we're gonna try again, we're gonna experiment, we'll come back to you. Hopefully by about Christmas time we'll have perfected this. Because then we can make them as gifts for everyone. Mm. That's what you're getting for Christmas, people. Anyway, that's it. We're going to go. Let us know. Well, let us know, whatever. Just have a go yourself. Enjoy your lockdown. We'll be back with more chocolate soon.